Om Shanti and welcome back. We are here with 18th of June's Kali Prasika. There's just one word and that one word can cut all the question marks in our life. It can cut away everything which is troublesome, which is situational, which is because of somebody else and somebody else has created that situation in our life and everything will be clear, crystal clear. So let's go ahead and let's understand what does Baba have to say. He says, may you finish any web of weak thoughts and become an independent soul, free from the bondage of any dependency. Now these dependencies actually come from outside. When situations are okay outside, then I'll be happy. When I solve the situation, then only I'll take the step towards happiness. When this person behaves this way, only then my mood will be better. If my boss talks to me nicely, I'll be happier and I'll do the work better. If my subordinate, my colleagues, they respect me, only then I'll go ahead and be happy and do the things which I want to do in my life. And we wait for that happiness energy to be there within us and we end up postponing and postponing our success, our happiness. So that's what God says that your bondage of dependency is a web of weak thoughts in your own mind. This web comes in the form of questions. When the question arises, what will happen? This situation will arise in front of me. I'm thinking of this solution. What will happen if they say this? What will happen if I get stuck over here? What will happen if I do this? Well, if you have a clean and clear heart, then you already know the solution. You already know the answer and you should be ready to accept it. Then God says, will it not be like this? Will it be like this? These are all questions. These are like webs. And then after some time, you've got thousands and thousands of webs and you're clogged with those webs. It creates a web. Confluence aged Brahmins should just have this one powerful thought and that one powerful thought is the knife, is the scissor, is the sword, whichever you want to call it, is going to cut off all those ties which are actually drawing your energy towards finding problems and why problems, why not solutions. And when you cut them with this one single thought which Brahmins use, you can actually start looking at the solution. You would see that when you were hearing or listening about the problem, there was the answer within that. That's the secret, my friends. God then says, Confluence Age Brahmins should have just what this one powerful thought. Whatever happens will be beneficial, wonderful. Whatever is going to happen, that means we take from the future. If you want to worry about the future, then why not, why not think like this? Whatever is going to happen in the future is going to be the best, is going to be amazing, is going to be helpful. Is going to be perfect, it's going to be sweetest discovery, it's going to be the sweetest revelation for me in my life. Whatever happens will be beneficial, it will be elevated and the best of all. Finish that web with this powerful thought, and you will become an independent soul who becomes free from all bondages. Finish that web with this powerful thought, cut it off, cut why? What will happen? I don't know what are they going to do. I don't know what will they say. Cut cut what's going to happen is going to be the best because you are diverting yourself from the negative road and you're taking a u-turn towards the positive road and now the solutions will start right okay this can be done okay this can be done okay this thought this plan this idea everything will come in front of you so god says become free from all bondages by thinking like this and that's what we learn in brahma kumaris